In this tutorial, I will show you how to use Evoluted Tools for Rhino to penalize and optimize a freeform surface. I will use the trial version and I will work on the ET cube, which you can download from our website. So let's just load the cube and start to work on it. I will use a very simple example, which is the back face of the cube. So let's just hide this unnecessary stuff. And I will start by creating a coarse mesh uh, using mesh primitives just like 3D face. We can now start the subdivision process. I will do a loop cut first. And now I will subdivide using Catmull Clark. Okay. We can now employ some multi scale mesh modeling. So we can drag the subdivided mesh a bit closer to our input surface. It doesn't have to be really precise, just drag the vertices into the desired location. Just to get a bit more density, I will do two more loop cuts on the coarse mesh. And we can delete it at this point. Now we can set our reference surface. We just select the NURB surface and set it as a reference. Before starting the optimization process, let's check the parameters first. And by default, we have surface closeness and curve closeness, and the rest is set to zero. So let's just start to optimize and see how the result looks like. We just select the mesh and hit the optimize button. As you can see, the first result is not very pretty. So we can start to tweak the parameters to improve the results. The first thing I'm going to do is ramp up the fairness curvature parameter. Let's just go to 1. And this will try to make all these polylines in our mesh to be nice and fair. So let's just optimize. So you can see the result is much better. The mesh is nice and smooth now. However, we have some issues around the corners and this is because the fairness term will try to smoothen the mesh around those corners. And we can get rid of that by simply setting those vertices as corners. So we can just click the button or you can type the command et set vertex corner and just select the vertices you want to be flagged as corners. We're done and we can optimize again. This is better but not perfect. And at this point we can just drag the corners of the subdivided mesh to the corners of the reference surface and fix them there. So first I will activate the grips and I will drag those vertices into position. And now I'm going to set them as fixed. So you just hit the button, ET set vertex fixed, and select the vertices. And we're done. Now at any point, if you want to check which vertices are set as fixed or set as corners in your model, you can just hit the buttons and it will display you the selected vertices. 
can do the same for corners. Again, you can see which vertices are set as corners. Let's do a couple more optimization steps. And now we have a much better result around the corners. Okay, let's try something else. Uh, let's say that for some reason you have to set some vertices at a specified location in your model, maybe because of uh, the substructure of your facade or some structural supports. So let's just drag some vertices and we will set them as fixed. So let's set them as fixed. Okay, we're done. And now we can optimize and see how the result looks like. So you can see that uh, all the seams and all the polylines in the mesh realigned with those uh, fixed vertices. So this is especially useful if you need to meet some structural support somewhere in your model. We can now look at the Analyze tools. For example, if we want to check how close this mesh is now to our reference surface, we just select the mesh and hit the Analyze Closeness button. And this is not bad at all. The values displayed here are in your model units. I'm working in meters, so these are 15 centimeters, and it's in this particular area here. Um, since this is related to boundary closeness, I can actually improve that. So let's just ramp up the curve closeness parameter. Let's just go to 1.5. Optimize again. and we got rid of that area. We can set the range again and we're down to 13 centimeters somewhere around here. We can also analyze the planarity. Just keep in mind that we haven't optimized for planarity yet so this is not looking very good. As you can see, we have some trouble quads which are not very planar. So at this point, we can start to optimize for planarity. So let's just ramp up planarity. Let's go to 1. Select your mesh and hit the optimize button. You can see that it's improving but not a lot. So we will ramp up the parameter a lot more. So let's just go to 5. Optimize again. And set the range again. So we went from 0 0.077 to 0 0.049. Again, these are model units. So this is about 5 centimeters. And this value is the shortest distance between the diagonals of a quad face. Let's just ramp up the parameter a bit more. Let's just go to 8. Optimize again. And set the range again. And we went down to 4 centimeters.
let's just hide our reference surface for a moment and if we want to optimize further we can either ramp up the planarity uh, term or just downgrade the surface closeness let's just do that let's go to 0.7 and optimize again and the result is better okay so this is all for our first optimization video just make sure you watch the next tutorials where we will work on some different surfaces in the ET cube thanks for watching